guys, welcome back to this week's edition of Hot Talk. My name is Gabe. And I'm Kaven. Hey Gabe, did you hear about that mixer coming up next Friday? We get out early that day, so it runs from 12.30 to 2.30. Yeah, I heard about it, and I'm going. And even better yet, it's free unless you want to buy some snacks there. Then you'll have to bring a few bucks for the treats. Also, did you know about Spirit Week? Let's run through the days so everyone can start planning in their outfits. Monday is Crazy Neon Day. Tuesday is Fake Injury Day. On Wednesday is wear pink to support the fight against cancer. Thursday is Throwback Thursday. And we will wrap up Spirit Week in our comfy pajamas. Come ready to show your spirit and participate next week. Now let's participate by saying the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jolly Hawks, I'm Amelia. And I'm Matthew, and we're here to find ourselves some Jolly Hawks. To start off, we have Gunnar Schmier, recognized by the one and only Mr. Hulficker. What did you do to earn this ticket? I brought some papers to another teacher. Nice job. How do you feel afterwards? I feel great. Great job. Next up, we have seventh grader Paige Jess, recognized by Mr. Francis. What did you do to earn this ticket? I helped clean up the band room after band. Good job. You really helped out, Mr. Conrad. I really think you appreciate it. Lastly, we have 8th grade Abby Bowden, nominated by one of our favorite gym teachers, Mr. Schmier. How did you convince him to give you this golden ticket? I helped clean up after class. <laughs> nice job. Good job, everyone, for earning a ticket that turned it. If you haven't received a ticket yet, stay hopeful because you might just get it next week. But until then, see you next week. Good morning, Hawks. Welcome to today's edition of Hard to Heart. I'm your host, Mr. Hart. Today's word of the week is illustrate. Illustrating is more than just drawing pictures. It might be illustrating your idea through words and other means as well. So continue practicing your illustrations. Got a very important announcement to make for today. I'm doing a call for action for a two or three students who are willing to present and speak at our Veterans Day Assembly on November 10th. This is a very important assembly and I'll be looking for two or three students who are willing to go up in front of the entire student body and our veteran guests and talk about Veterans Day and what it might mean to you. If you know a veteran, if you have a personal interest and pride in veterans and what they do and, and feel compelled to speak to an audience about that, just come and make an appointment to see me and we'll talk about your idea. And if um, you're willing to write a speech that will need to be approved by me, um, we'll sign you up for that job. I can only have room for about two, maybe three. Um, I'm hoping to have more people interested, but come and see me if you think you'd like to participate in that activity. Um, also coming up, next week is, of course, conference week, which means we're getting out of school early on Tuesday through Friday. We'll also be having Spirit Week next week, which means a big kickoff assembly on Monday. Be ready to go and have some fun at that. Um, it's a great week. Um, you'll be dressing up, having a good time. We'll be ending the week with a mixer on Friday right after school if you'd like to come and have some food and hang out with your friends, listen to music, and have some fun. So, lots going on, lots of things to do. Remember to see me about the Veterans Day Assembly if you're interested. That's all I have for today, and I'll see you next time on Heart to Heart. <laughs> and this is sports. On Monday, their highs in 7th grade varsity softball players played against Evergreen while 8th grade varsity had a bye. 7th grade JV had a bye and 8th grade JV played at home against Evergreen. If you haven't seen them play, come watch them on Monday, their last game of the season when they take on Bowdish, North Pines, and Evergreen. Nice season, girls. On Thursday, middleweight football played against Green Acres at home and lightweight played at Green Acres. Come support your middleweight Hawks for their last game on Monday at Bowdish and lightweight at home. Wednesday, a cross-country team ran against Green Acres and North Pines at the Pavilion. If you want to come see the cross-country team run, you can see their last meet at CV High School. 
for the district meet on Monday. That's all for this week's update on sports. Make sure to come support our Horizon athletes last game on Monday. And don't forget that another season is starting soon. Come After conference week, you'll have the opportunity to participate in wrestling or volleyball. See you, See you next week. week. I can make your hands clap. Said I can make your hands clap. And I'm Cody. Welcome to the segment of BLT. For lunch today, we'll be having teriyaki beef dippers. I wish we were having birthday cake. We'll all be having birthday cake with Serenity Perez and Aubrey Ross. And I will be having some with Jared Cole and Tyler Fails this weekend. Do you know what goes great with cake? What? The song Stressed Out by 21 Pilots. Wait, wasn't that last week's song? Yeah, let's see who the winners are for Name That Tune. <laughs> Melanie Jones. Jeremiah Sibley. Marissa Conlin. Hayden Galloway. Go and get some from Mr. Hart and Mr. Francis. Well, that's all we have for today, Hogs. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, did you know that the start of Spirit Week is an assembly on Monday? Also, next week is the Mix It Up Day at lunch. Don't forget, if you don't know where you're sitting, uh, the wall up at the front of the lunchroom will tell you where your table placement is. And the tables all have numbers on them, so when you see what your table arrangement is, there will be a number right next to your name. It's also in al alphabetical order through grade level. Well, that's all we have for this week's edition of Hawk Talk. Have a great week, Hawks. Me down, cause I'm in need of something good right now.